friends, it's Catherine from CatherinePillar.com. In today's video, I have another holiday card for you. I'm using a pretty simple layout. I'm gonna use some fun techniques, including coloring, embossing, paste, stenciling, and heat embossing. And then I have a second video that will be up on Stamp Nation today. Also, supplies will be below in the description on YouTube and on my blog along with more photos. If you're new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe and then hop over to KatherinePuller.com. You can get on my newsletter list and get exclusive content that I only share with subscribers. All right, let's get started. And the first thing I did on this card was use this dotted border die by Avriel and I cut out this piece. The next step, I'm gonna take some masking paper and I'm just gonna mask, mask off the edges and while I'm masking this off, it's also going to secure my cardstock down to the table so that it doesn't slip around when I'm stenciling. I had to get a little crazy with my washi tape in this stencil because, it, as you can see here, is warped. It's a Heidi Swap, and Anna has been using it or has used it a lot in the past for some of her mixed media projects. So, not really sure what happened there. Um, never know when kids get into your stuff. I'm going to add a little gold shimmer to this pearlescent embossing paste. So I just went direct to my clear block with the gold um, gold ink pad. I could have done this straight onto my craft sheet. I think it's a little bit easier to clean up if you do it onto the block first. So now I have a really subtle, really subtle gold shimmery pearlescent embossing paste. And I'll just add this to my stencil. I have my entire piece of cardstock covered and I'm just gonna go over it one more time with this palette knife just to make sure that it's all smooth. I am worried a little bit about this piece right here because it's it's uh it's pulling up a little. We'll see when this comes off. I'll zoom in a little because my stencil was warped so it didn't really come out the way I wanted it to right here. But after this dries and I put my card together, I'll be sure to cover that part up. We'll let this dry and we'll move on to what we're gonna do on the rest of this card. I'm gonna be using this Beauty of the Season stamp set by Penny Black and ever since I got this set, I've been dying to use this tree. I don't know why it's taken me so long. <laughs> and I originally thought I was gonna do it in gold but when I was reaching to pull out my gold um, embossing powder, this Verdigree by Ranger caught my eye and I thought it would be really gorgeous because it's green with gold in it. So I thought that would be perfect for the tree. The one thing I'm wondering though is it's a little bit of a thick, chunky uh, embossing powder. So I wasn't sure how it's gonna look, but now that I've got it on here, oh boy, it's looking gorgeous. So we'll heat this and see how it comes out. You can see as that turns, it's like a greenish blue with these chunky gold flecks in it. It's just stunning. And I think it's perfect for this tree. I like to use computer paper for my embossing powder. It's really easy to funnel that right back into the container. I'm going to use the O Tannenbaum greeting. I think that's appropriate. And I have quite a few different gold embossing powders, but I wanted just a plain really nice shiny gold embossing powder. So I pulled out my Stampin' Up! embossing powder and it's really fine, which is gonna be really nice for this sentiment because it's very detailed and very scripty. So you need a good fine embossing powder to make sure you get all that detail. Look at that, oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna do a little more gold accenting for this card and I've cut two layers. Each of them are one eighth of an inch larger than the layer they're gonna go behind. And I'm just gonna go direct to paper with this gold Delicata ink pad. This will just give me a light gold edge that will go be behind each layer and that will really set off the accenting and make this card a little bit more elegant. I've already added that to its gold mat and now I'll do the same with my stenciled piece. And while this was laying there drying, now I've got a couple problems with this piece. One, I set uh, my little quick stick tool on top of it accidentally, so I have a little boo-boo down here. I've got some little issues up here. See how we can figure out how to cover that up. 
I'm adding quite a few dimensionals on top of this piece. I'm gonna add it right in the center. And then I wasn't sure if I wanted a white or a crumb cake background. So here we are with it on white, and that looks pretty nice. And here we are with it on crumb cake. And I really like that as well. Oh boy, I can't decide. I think I'm gonna go with the crumb cake. I've added quite a few dimensionals to the back of this piece. And then I'm gonna try to do a little ribbon. I have not been using ribbon at all. Let's see, I think this could add a really pretty touch to this card. While at the same time, covering up the little boo-boos. Now this is a ribbon by Stampin' Up. Honestly, I'm not sure that they carry it anymore, but any ribbon that you have is going to be awesome. And we'll just do a little angled cuts on the end so it doesn't fray. Actually, I don't know if this ribbon would fray anyway, but there, I like it. It's distracting from the little boo-boos that I had, and I think it adds a really nice, elegant touch to this card. Hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. I really had a great time making this card. At the end, I'm gonna link to some more Christmas videos. And in the meantime, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out katherinepuller.com. I will have up close photos of this card along with supply list, and there's lots more uh, fun projects over there for you. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.